Good morning to all of you. Welcome back to Hospitality Engineering. Today we will continue with the presentation on Fire Alarm System, Fire and Life Safety. Module 6, Part 4 If you haven't watched my previous videos, Part 1, 2 and 3, I suggest you look at these before watching this one. What are Fire Alarm Systems? Fire Alarm Systems are perhaps the most essential elements of any building's life safety systems. Not only do they save countless lives every year, they often regulate other systems in the building and property owners save huge amounts of money by reducing damage to their structures. What are the main components of a fire alarm system? A fire alarm system has three main components, the fire alarm control panel, FACP, the input device or devices, also known as initiation devices, such as a pull station, a smoke detector, or a water flow switch on a sprinkler system, and a notification device, such as a horn, speaker, bell, or siren. Why use a fire alarm system? The following points are very important as why we need fire alarm system in each building. Warning, fire alarm systems provide audible and visual alerts to give building occupants notice of a potential danger and prompt them to evacuate the building. Fire alarm monitoring, when used in collaboration with your fire alarm system, fire alarm monitoring ensures that the fire department is notified of a fire at your facility. Early detection, a properly functioning fire alarm system makes it possible to quickly detect a fire. When used alongside fire alarm monitoring, this allows the fire department to respond quickly, which assists in mitigating building damage or loss of life. Insurance discounts, a fire alarm system in your building can be helpful and secure. Pricing discounts on building insurance. What is a fire alarm system made up of? It consists of mainly nine items. Fire alarm control panel. Fire detectors like smoke and heat detectors. Fire alarm modules like relay, control and monitoring module. Manual call points MCP. Sounder and flashers. Mimic panels or graphic station. Emergency telephone. Battery and charger. Centralized alarm monitoring system. Five. What is the type of fire alarm system? The two main types of fire alarm systems are conventional and addressable. Both systems communicate with devices similarly, however, they are unique in how they are connected. Conventional In a conventional fire alarm system, the control panel is connected to each device using a separate wire and is typically set up on zones. Utilizing zones helps to narrow down the location of a potential fire. For example, if your facility has six floors and each floor is set up as a zone, the fire department can determine on which floor the fire is located based on the activated zone. Addressable, an addressable fire alarm system gives a unique address to each device that is on the system. This allows you to identify the precise location of the activated device and relay that information to the fire department. In this system, all the devices are connected a known wire that is looped into the control panel. As a result, even if one section is damaged, the system is still able to relay information to the control panel utilizing the other end of the loop. Addressable fire alarm systems provide a lot of flexibility and are often used for large facilities. The three states of a fire alarm system. Fire alarm panels continuously monitor and indicate the state of the fire alarm system. For the majority of systems, there are three possible states. Normal, normal means that all appliances, devices, circuitry and wiring are functioning correctly and that there are no active alarms. Alarm, this status indicates an active alarm. Trouble, if an open or short wiring develops in the circuits that connect the initiating devices and the fire alarm panel, or if the system's phone line connection isn't working, the system will go into a trouble state, which the control panel will display. Why do we need NFPA 72 compliance? NFPA 72 is a prescriptive standard that applies to fire alarm systems. While the NFPA 72 standard makes no mention of gas detection, Many clients are applying NFPA 72 standards and requirements to both fire and gas detection systems. There are several advantages to NFPA 72 certified systems that include. One allows for the combining of both fire alarm and gas detection functions into a single safety system. Two ensures that local authorities having jurisdiction like fire marshals or fire authorities have the assurance that the system complies with the applicable codes and standards. 
3 allows the end user to lower their insurance costs because they are using a certified system. For ANFPA 72 certified solution ensures that you are complying with the best practices in the industry as drafted by the NFPA. I hope now you all are familiar with the basics of fire alarm systems. Hope you all subscribed to our channel and shared it with all the engineers who want to obtain their careers as chief engineers in his wonderful hospitality industry. Also, please provide thumbs up in your comments if any. Thanks for watching, see you soon with another topic on the same subject. Like. Subscribe. Your support will motivate us to provide more content on this channel.